Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to the second day of my week featuring Penny Black stamps. Today I'm going to use this beautiful flower stamp. This is a cling stamp and it's called Awaken. I'm going to do some watercoloring, so I will be using this watercolor paper. I am going to leave uh, links down below to both uh, UK and uh, US uh, online shops. So anyway, this is a nice thick paper and it takes a uh, watercolor beautifully. I am going to use my Misty. Of course, I have to uh, take off the pad from the inside just because this is a clink stamp. And as you can see, I have uh, changed my magnets. I like them uh, more because they are flat and take uh, even more space. I followed Jennifer's example and I have ordered mine from China. They are super cheap. You get four of them in the package for less than four dollars. It takes a little while to arrive, but they don't uh, charge any shipping and uh, packaging. So that's a great deal. You will find the link to where I got those magnets down below in the description area. So now I am stamping my flower again and again with black archival link. This is going to make sure that this is permanent so I can use my watercolors later on. To do my watercoloring, I will be using my Aqua Flow markers. These are by Tonic Studios. They have a nice brush and uh, you can move uh, the watercolor either with um, water or with another brush with a different color. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to use my Aqua Flow glitter pen. This is totally transparent, but it adds glitter. It works kind of uh, like Wink of Stella, but I believe it adds even more shine to your projects. So I am moving my watercolor and this is going to make sure that I have uh, darker and light lighter areas. Now notice that um, to get beautiful results I am working on a watercolor paper and I'm working on small areas each time. I don't let the watercolor dry and then try to move uh, the watercolor with my glitter brush. So you need to remember work in uh, small areas each time before the color dries Move it and you will have beautiful shading. I love using these Aqua Flow pens. I am kind of obsessed since I got them. And um, one of the favorite things to color are flowers. And Penny Black definitely has beautiful uh, flower stamps. Now, when I previously used my Aqua Flow pens, were only available in uh, Europe, but now they are also available in the US. And you will find links down below both in the UK and in US for all my European and American uh, viewers. Now I am going to fast forward the video and let you see just a little bit of how I colored everything and I will catch you back once everything is uh, colored. And my flowers are ready. I love how I used just one orange to do all that shading on the flowers with uh, the glitter pen. And um, I also added a little bit of brown at the center of my flowers and green for the stems. 
Now you all know that uh, I love dimensions, so I just cannot uh, leave that as it is for my card. I just have to do something uh, for making my card looking more dimensional and more interesting. So for this design, I am using my scissors and I am going all along the right side of the design to cut it out. The idea is to create a panel that I can lift up on my card. And one thing that you cannot see at the moment is uh, how shiny those uh, flowers are, just because uh, I used my glitter pen. So now that my panel is ready, I'm going to try to catch the light for you and hopefully you can see how shiny it is. Now, as you can see, I have followed the curve of the right um, stem and now I'm going to trim off my paper just to make sure that uh, this is going to fit nicely on top of a standard card. So I'm going to trim off uh, the edges to make sure that the length, the taller uh, side is uh, five and a half. And I'm also going to trim off a little bit of that white on the left side. So now my panel is ready and by doing this trick I do have some edges where I cut out the flowers but at the same time I didn't have to cut out all the way through the flowers. And still I have a panel, an element to lift up from my page. Now this is where I decided that I wanted to deepen up some of the uh, shadows in my flowers and uh, that's why I brought this uh, Nouveau Brass Script marker. This has um, a nice uh, brass tip. I believe it's uh, mainly made for um, handwriting. But um, just because you can move uh, the ink with color, it is water-based, you can combine them beautifully with uh, aqua flow markers. And what I love about them is that they have such a fine tip, so you can go inside those tiny little areas and add a touch of um, a shadow super easy. Now, of course, this step is totally optional. You really don't need to add even more shadow on your flowers. However, I just can't uh, leave anything alone. So I just had to try this uh, technique. And I think it worked beautifully. I'm not going to do that for each and every petal. I'm just only going to add um, a little bit of darker orange to the areas that I believe they should be really darker. So now it's time to create my card base. I am using this bright yellow uh, cardstock for my card base. I have cut it out lengthwise to four and a quarter. And now I'm going to uh, score it with uh, my bone folder there at uh, five and a half. So I have a top folding card which matches perfectly the color of my flowers. And this is where I am planning to add the panel. Now I am going to decide which sentiment I'm going to use. This is a stamp set by Penny Black. It's called Special Thoughts and it has beautiful sayings for beautiful cards. Now I am going to go with the one that says you brighten my day, which I think matches perfectly all that yellow and brightness in my card. I am going to stamp that at the very top corner of my card base and uh, I am going to white emboss it. So I am bringing out my Versa marking. I'm going to bring my white embossing powder as well as my EK Success powder tool. And just because I am going to do the embossing, first I am going to prepare the area with my powder tool, which is going to add some powder that removes static electricity. So the embossing powder is not going to stick all over the place. Now I am going to place temporarily my panel there so that I make sure that I don't stamp uh, my sentiment in an area that doesn't show. I am going to stamp carefully, apply my white embossing powder and heat set it. And now that everything is ready, it's time to assemble my card. So at the back of my panel, I'm going to add some foam tape. I'm going to peel off the backing and then place it on top of my card base. And this is where you can call this card done. But you know me, I love little details. So I am going to add some uh, dots by using my Nouveau Jewel Drops. This uh, is a product that uh, creates lovely little um, dots, but uh, they are transparent, translucent. So I am combining two different colors, a light orange one and uh, a very light uh, yellow. And they will look like dew drops once uh, everything dries. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget that Penny Black has a giveaway for you, so make sure to visit my blog and find out all about it. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today.
And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos where I am using AquaFlow markers with beautiful results. Thank you all for watching!